Hello everyone, this is Alex Austin, DRD's structural team lead, and I want to spotlight a specific feature for capturing welds using ANSYS Discovery Premium, as well as the subsequent meshing of those welds using ANSYS Mechanical Pro. Now the objective here of these features is to streamline weldment analysis using a simple weld tool in Discovery Premium, and then couple that with the ease of meshing those welds in Mechanical Pro. Now this workflow is applicable to sheet metal structures that will be simulated with shell finite elements. So we'll step into ANSYS Discovery Premium here real quick and what you'll notice is I have a fairly simple chassis structure that is currently modeled with solid bodies. Now the usual, usual process for converting that to surface geometry for shell elements is to mid-surface these. And this ranges from 10, uh, 4 millimeter to 10 millimeter thicknesses. Hit the check mark. And what you'll notice is the solid bodies become uh, translucent and there is now a mid-plane surface body in between the top and bottom of the solid. So this is what I'm left over with. All of all four bodies converted to surfaces. Now the specific feature I'm spotlighting here is the weld function. And the way this works, pretty simple. Just grab the edges that will be welded from one body to the other, say this tube here to the C channel. Hit the check mark. Same thing with the other side. And then we can do these plug welds here also. And so now what I'm left is with is a fillet weld object here that uh, captures the welds between the tube and the C-channel and the cross brace and the C-channels. Once we're done here, we can transfer this into ANSYS Mechanical. And start with the meshing. Uh, once in ANSYS Mechanical, what we'll notice is the bodies have been imported as their surface representations. And if we look in the tree here, we'll find these fillet weld line body objects. These have question marks next to them, but we can ignore that for now. Now the way the meshing works for the weld bodies, so go ahead and adjust the mesh size here a bit. We will use a relatively new method called the prime mesh method. This is especially useful for meshing shell bodies as well as the corresponding weld entities. And for the weld specifically, we'll use this object here called weld. Now we can come in here and select, directly select the edges one at a time and add those to the object and that will create the weld mesh or we can use the worksheet. Now this takes advantage of the line bodies that are currently in the tree, and we hit the button, and that finds all of the welds that we defined in Discovery Premium. I'm gonna go ahead and split these last four out. These are the plug welds. As you can see there, I have the two weld objects now. And the plug welds are just going to be straight uh, surfaces that are created between the light blue edge there and the adjacent C-channel. Then the tube to C-channel welds, those will be fillet welds. We'll address that in a little bit. Go ahead and generate the mesh. As you can see, it finishes pretty quickly. So now we have the straight little body there. You see the tan body, that is the plug welds that were generated. And we can see the same for the welds back here between the tube and C channel. 
Now we'll adjust the mesh a little bit here and rather than using just a simple straight surface between the tube and the C-channel, we'll, we'd like to capture the fillet behavior when we weld the structure. So we'll change this to normal and angled. And just so we can assign a material to these welds, and then we'll remesh. So a couple things you'll notice. Uh, one, these are still the straight on plug welds. Of course, the back here, you can see, are the fillet welds. What you'll also notice is that the line bodies that we imported from Discovery Premium, those are marked as construction bodies automatically, so they will not be used as part of the simulation. But now we have these weld objects here that were created as part of the meshing process, and those are assigned material properties and so forth. Now to wrap up, I want to talk about the benefits of this workflow. Uh, the first is that you don't need to capture the weld geometry directly in CAD. You don't have to draw the fillet and create solid geometry and all of that. You can just use that line representation and import that into ANSYS Mechanical Pro. Number two, this removes the complexity of shared topology. This is the sharing of nodes between one part and the next when they touch each other. Uh, in this case, the sharing occurs directly during the meshing step uh, rather than at the geometry step uh, as previously done. And the last, the couples with the second point here with shared topology is that because these are separate bodies, this highly parallelizes the meshing. So we can use multiple cores to mesh the structure uh, and get a mesh that much faster. That wraps up this demonstration here. See you on the next one.